Previously on this old outboard. Well, I think we got a runner. He took it out. I start there. Got out there and it died. Had to get towed in. Everything in there is new now. Well, I kind of had a feeling it was going to be clean in there. Probably didn't need that kit. And then get down there. I'll do one more, one more run with the beef. What the hell is going on? This sucks. Hell. Well, that sucked. But that's what you got to do. You can't just take it out there running around and figure everything's all right. Hit it without any fuel, any primer or anything. See if what's left in there it might just fire right up. Nope. So no spark. We're heading back. Can't get the fire back up. Rain looks like it's coming this way. So later on that day, I came back down with the timing light and sure enough no spark on either cylinder and I said that's normally the charge coil when both of them go out it's either going to be your charge coil or your your uh, power pack I would go after that charge coil first so came back I don't know a day or so later pulled that flywheel off and you wouldn't believe what we found. <laughs> so this is the original 30 horsepower head. And pull this thing out because I need the rectifier and or possibly the stator. Because my motor ain't putting out a charge. And I'm probably, probably going to put this intake on like I should have done in the first place I thought they were just so remarkably you know they're they're so close but I'm gonna probably go ahead and swap it too it's a little bit bigger so right now I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna grab Tracy's boat and tow it over to the ramp but we're gonna take it out of the water so we can work on it so they tried to pull this damn, what do you call these things? Hurricane deck or something? Something like a pontoon. Cool boat. They tried to pull that thing out of here last night. Somebody bought it finally. The guy buried his axle in it. You can see the tire marks. Yeah, unbelievable. Then they brought in two more trucks and still couldn't get it out. I can get through this grass. All right, thank you, sir. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Well, I'm over at Tracy's house. And I pulled that nut off the flywheel, no problem. Then I go to put the flywheel puller in and my screws that I use on every single Johnson Heaven Root outboard didn't want to fit. Too small. And everything else in here would not fit the threads. So I said, let me see if I can knock it off with the rubber mallet. And I took the rubber mallet, boom, 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 it fell right off and look at this freaking mess. Can you believe it? I told you he's gonna need a new <laughs> charge coil. <laughs> I cannot believe it that this thing even ran for a minute. I've never seen anything like that. And he's probably gonna need a new flywheel too. Look at the magnets, they're all chewed up. Maybe, maybe not, it might clean up. Those are just chunks of metal that's been flying around in there, stuck to them. Yeah, it might be all right. Clean it up. Unbelievable. Never seen anything like this in my life. Look at these screws don't even fit. I guess because it's been beat up so many times. Look at this, you're gonna need a new plate. But you ain't gonna get anything in there unless you, that ain't no. Look at the size of this hole. 
That's why this thing would shake, rattle, and roll. I said shake, rattle, and roll. I said shake, rattle, and roll. So, yeah. Scrub that baby down, get all those pieces out of it, clean her up. Should probably probably be all right, I would think. Yeah, these are just chunks of metal. Come off. It should clean up and be all right. Ooh, big mess. Actually, I may have a plate that'll fit, so that'll save you some money and some time, because they're they're not going to be cheap. Or maybe they are. I have never never had to buy a plate. So I don't know, but sometimes you can buy the whole thing used right on eBay. Boom! Damn, I can't even believe it, man. I cannot even believe it. That's how. Let me tell you what. This thing start and ran, and it, that just didn't start. That's been happening, and this thing would run. That's how freaking dependable and great these motors are. I want something dependable. <laughs> you got it right there, buddy. You're lucky this thing ran that long. <laughs> Holy schmoly. Wow, I'm, I'm telling you, I've never, seen, I've never seen anything like that before. I mean, I've seen a little rub mark here, there, you know, because it's off balance a little bit, you know, we're not set properly it's supposed to look like this no or it's been rubbed all spread out yeah it's all been beat up and rubbed i, I still can't even believe this thing even <laughs> started unbelievable all right so we found a deal on ebay 60 bucks for everything the plate everything but the guy doesn't have a clue if anything is good but you still can't beat the deal everything looks great and then looky here i said what is that on the dog <laughs> two little two little otters up there sunning so he's gonna go in there and order it up and we should should be good to go everything looked brand new and not to mention that plate number part number only one came up on ebay then another one popped up similar. They wanted 300 and something bucks for it. Well, I want to go over there and pet that off. <laughs> if I chew my hand off. More Wild Kingdom coming up after this message. So this is the 3035 horse power head. Look at the way the bolts came out. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see something like that. Ordered. The uh, gasket, yeah baby, look at that gasket stayed on nice, a little leaking around where the uh, nipple is, but you see here, you see how this is cut, and then it loops around right there, on the 25s, this is all solid. Right in here up to here so this is how much bigger this intake is so also I just remembered I'm looking at my rubber stop bumper high-speed spark setting and if you remember when I first got this motor and this thing was screwed way out so I can remember you know, I put it back in, but I never did. You know, totally forgot about it because this thing sat for so freaking long. Never did any kind of timing test or anything. Is it is it in too far? Does it need to come out a little bit more? Anyway, got to find out about that. I could do the Joe Reeves timing method on this thing too. And see this car? See the throat on this thing? When I open this baby up, boom, man, it's like the same size all the way through. That's what you want. If you got a carb like that, throw a bigger jet, boom. 
See, that's a little crappy car, no waste of time. Well, it looks like I got lucky again. This puppy's coming right off. Yes! So right here, you see the difference? See how this one's bigger, it's cut around there. This one's not. Big difference it's gonna make. So what I'm doing is just spraying some in this pan and then painting it on. I don't have a big mess. I'm trying to keep it even steven. A little bit of a pain in the book. Put it on a little thick. Right yeah. Try to get on there quick. <laughs> and like I said, I already ordered the, the uh, gasket. I never got a uh, number, a tracking number. It was only provided. So that means. The male hasn't picked it up yet. All right, so all I gotta do is fire this puppy up and see if my battery's charging. But I'm done for today, so no big deal. If it's not, not a biggie. We'll uh, throw that uh, stator in there, charge stator. Yeah, I can't wait to run this thing now. I should have done that stupid intake and I was like let's see what happens you know I knew in the back of my mind I was going to, I was going to end up doing it it was just a matter of when but I wanted to see how it was going to run so I don't have a clue what that thing should be doing with a 25 30 35 on it but I do know most people put 40s on them he wants to get a 40 it's got to get a short shaft, number one, or put some kind of jack plate on there if he gets a long shaft. Then he wanted a four stroke. I read it's too much weight uh, with a big guy like him sitting in the back, the battery, the gas tank. There's no room in the back of that boat. Very uncomfortable for me. I need a seat. And that thing, I need a seat with a seat belt. <laughs> anyway. They say, you know, a big guy and, and a 200-pound uh, four-stroke is too much weight for those little boats. I don't know what top speed would be for a 25-horse to compare this to till we get his fixed again. Then we got something to compare it to, but now this is the way it's supposed to be. So... This should do much, much better with that bigger intake. All right, this is how you do the Joe Reeves timing method. Wide open throttle timing with the rubber bumper screw. Battery is hooked up. The timing light is hooked up. The uh, spark plugs are out. Got number one plug wire hooked up to the timing light got water in the tank so I don't burn up my impeller see right here this is your mark for top you know for timing right on top of there anywhere within that little humpity spot you know give or take one or two degrees so anyway this was set at 30 according to here and then with Joe Reeves you want to go backwards four digits so went back, 30s up here, went to 4, back to 26, okay? So I marked it with a little white paint on the Q-tip, then I did a little side mark. This is that copper wire, solid copper wire, and you pull the full throttle, pull this thing all the way up till it hits the rubber bumper, and you tighten it down. Then you bump the starter, and you should be able to see the light and everything. Where's my starter button? I think you can see that. I'll zoom in a little bit on it. If it's too far advanced, you screw the screw in. If it's not far enough, you screw it out. 
one of those ways. I, don't, I can't remember right. I just did it. I don't know which way is which. So from this angle over here, where it's really at, the mark I made on the top, on the actual top of the flywheel here, is right in there. The wider mark is, you know, just to kind of help you line it up. But that top mark right there, put the paint on there, got it all over my fingers, and did the top. Then I did a side mark to see, but the top one is lined up right in the middle of this thing. We're looking at it from an angle over here, so it kind of looks funny. And that's how you do it. Now, if you have to screw the screw out, be sure to tighten up on your wire. This thing has to stay tight against that screw and lock the nut because the vibration in the screw will turn out. So lock the nut, keep the wire tight. If you have to turn it in, don't worry about the wire, but still lock the nut because it'll vibrate out. Next time on this old outboard. Now it's different with that big intake. I'm telling you the truth now. I'm sitting here one foot on each side and I'm holding on to the seat with my legs. This is a little scary for me. Oh yeah, baby.